Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we play with Brandenburg. So in the last one we uh, declared war against Pomerania and now we are just finishing. We also got an, a new idea which I am going to take a military one. Uh, we could go for quality, defensive or offensive. I I consider it uh, during uh, my little break and I consider it going for offensive. This is a really really good idea. Uh, well all of these are actually pretty darn good. Uh, quality is also very very good uh, and defensive as well. These three for me are the best out of these although this one is also good and quantity in some cases is better than uh, a lot of these. So. Yep, uh, we are going for offensive ideas, I think, or diplomatic ideas. Hang on, now I'm considering going for a diplomatic, and I'll probably will. Uh, it will give us plus uh, diplomatic relations, which means we can uh, actually sustain that much more vessels. Vessels. So I'm going for diplomatic first, then we'll go for this. So yep, uh, a last section, uh, last uh, second decision. I'm going to take this one right now and uh, since we do not have any navy we do not have the need to invest that much into uh, diplomatic uh, ideas and as such we will do as i said right now uh, so hopefully we'll siege through this guy really fast uh, uh, pomerania actually got uh, melkenburg which is a really 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 uh, bad thing for us because now we cannot vassalize them right now we have to release this and transfer the trade power and all of that because as you can see right now well full and uh, well vassalization is off because uh, the total peace cost of their province is too great so as such we are going to release uh, Melkenburg we are going to take a lot of money from them if we can 67 not a lot but better than nothing we will transfer the trade power we could actually take this one but then we would be at odds with the Emperor and we do not want it because we are allied with them so we'll do this there we go and send the demand we'll try to vassalize Melkenburg right now uh, so we won we lost the dishonorable scum we'll move right there Melkenburg we are going to uh, try and vassalize them we are guaranteeing their independence so let's uh, Whoa. positive opinion of them oh god damn it really for real dynastic royal marriage uh, 504 so we are now paying diplomatic points but well we'll just have to live with it let's royal marriage okay good now we can actually form an alliance because our opinion of them is a bit higher good let's 2nd of March so let's wait till the 2nd and we'll actually lose uh, drop this we are making 1.99 so not bad uh, we could actually gain a bit uh, another advisor so we'll do so and we'll do with diplomatic reputation which will help out uh, and this way we kind of counter our uh, our diplomatic uh, loss in power right there so let's do uh, offer an alliance as soon as we can 2nd of March of course so let's offer the alliance now 125 awesome uh, offer vassalization they would accept but we need uh, a bit more relations with them so let's wait until the 8th of April and then we'll uh, improve relations with them until they get to 190 when they do so uh, we will offer the vassalization and hopefully they will accept uh, of course they will why wouldn't they so that is it uh, we are making a bit at military access from Saturnic Order. Who are you at war with? Austria, Pomerania, Palatina, Trier, Saxony and Thuringia. I'm going to decline. No. You are not you you are not going to uh, walk through my lands. So that is it. Uh, we are uh, waiting. House of York won the Hall War of the Roses. Hang on, not this. So let's see how they're 563 not that bad okay so uh, we are waiting for this uh, relation uh, to go to 190 
Austria is occupying every single province of theirs. Uh, yep. The military access wouldn't have done you any good, trust me. Uh, we could... Uh, no, we need one more uh, thing, right? Yeah, we need one more. So we can get uh, uh, some, uh, some buildings, temples and constables, which we will build everywhere. This will not be a colonization game, be warned. We will not go anywhere other than Europe. Uh, let's uh, eradicate the problem, of course. I do not like, excuse me, I do not like uh, the, um, the inflation. I avoid it like the plague. So, uh, our truce will expire. Well, they are at war with the Tonic Order. Uh, our truce will expire uh, when? 66, 56, so hopefully by then we'll have our, our vessel. Hopefully. Increase relation plus 18, yep, I think we shall. Let's uh, take this one, Pike Square, we can build armories, I'm not going to do so, uh, because I'm saving uh, the money. All glory to us, diplomatic reputation plus 5, awesome, that's really good. Uh, well, they lost the war, no surprises there. We could build the armories, as I said, I am not going to do so. Uh, we are making a bit of money. I am not going to hire another advisor right now. We will do so as soon as we vassalize these guys, probably. And they are allied with uh, Brandenburg and Friedsland. Friedsland is right around here. Friedsland. And Burgundy still hasn't uh, been inherited by either Austria or France. That's that's weird. That's really, really, really strange. In the game as Portugal uh, that we played, Burgundy also didn't get inherited by uh, by them. Uh, well, it's still it's still soon, but still, let's see. Do they have the Burgund? Okay. They will probably be inherited. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, we have a two score, <laughs> a, two, a score of two. That's not really uh, all that good and all that bad. In the beginning, it's always like this, unless you start with some uber power like the Ottomans or France or England, and even as Portugal, because Portugal has a big fleet, so it uh, start it starts to score as soon as you start to play, at least in diplomatic rending. So, yep, uh, okay, administrative 27th, military 189th. Uh, if I'm, let's increase attempts, I do not want to revolt risk here. Let's keep playing. Let's keep it going. Uh, we cannot do anything uh, with this, so I'm not even going to bother at the beginning. Okay, so uh, we are almost uh, in the spot where we can uh, actually improve our uh, diplomatic idea. Time to fabricate claims minus 50%, that's, that's good. So let's keep going and hopefully it will be uh, pretty darn soon that we can vassalize these guys. 167, okay. 168 now well no because the year the year passed so uh, we'll do this and now we cannot uh, hire the idea uh, in this playthrough hopefully you will see how good the protestant uh, states are because they get a discount to their ideas that's right uh, you'll pay instead of 400 360 that saves a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, points. Uh, yeah. First of June. Okay. It's just a waiting game for this and for our truce to expire, because we will be making uh, another diplomatic relation, and we really do need the cabinet right there. Diplomatic relations plus two, 
it's really really important for us to get there and fast okay uh, when and they are at war with the Hansa, Riga, Saxe, Lundenburg and Mag Magdenburg okay so our guys didn't actually get in there when uh, January okay so January we are going to war against them uh, so let's boost our military maintenance there we will we'll lose a bit of money but that is to be expected and it's not that much uh, so we are going to war right now we will declare war that will be the call to arms and there we go we are going to go to there setting hopefully these guys will go there and they will maintain that siege if we got if we get two out of three provinces uh, then uh, our guys uh, they will be our vassals doctrine of particular judgment when he die when, when we die God judges immediately and decides the soul's fate until it awaits the last judgment a monk has started a doctrinal dispute that verges on the edge of heresy when he claimed that there was no purgatory and saying prayers for the dead would not exist their passage into heaven these disputes are threatening the very unity of our church is probably a heretic or sorry there is nothing we can do for your dead loved ones uh, we'll do this one because I do not want to revolt risk in new mark so what the hell right uh, let's see how the re the reform desire is at 23 percent okay let's hope it uh, takes a little while longer to get there so 42 percent minus 42 percent actually minus 33 let's uh, detach the siege and move there just in case there we go because this way they will leave so hopefully uh, this way we'll get all three if not uh, the Hansa is requesting military access uh, sure I accept uh, they have a lot of things right here we'll gain we'll probably gain the diplomat uh, the dishonorable scum Casas Belli one should hope and apparently they are at war with the Tony Porter correct yep I wish them luck so we won that little siege good let's get all the way down there so we can get uh, there and lead the siege ourselves there we go that's good this is a very good uh, mechanic because since we are the war leader they will leave if we ever got there get there so that's really really good uh, for the player at least for the AI not so good but for the player is really really good so right now we are only waiting for the sieges to uh, be over uh, we do need a ton more of these so the statesman has died so global trade power is not so good but we'll take it and we'll take this one as well right now because uh, this will be um, we could vassalize these guys right now uh, peace offer from Livonian order we are at war with them Ooh, we are and apparently we won I love this part so let's get money from them uh, let's transfer the trade power and make them an old trade just with these guys and that's it yeah. there we go this way we gain a bit more prestige which is nice it's always nice to gain a bit more prestige so there we go we won let's uh, vassalize them shall we We'll take the money that they have, all the money that they have, if we can, no we cannot, so let's lower to 100%, there we go. We will be starting to pay a bit more uh, diplomatic maintenance, but that's fine. There we go, we are now, uh, they are now our vassal, although they are at war with the Hansa, Riga, Saxon, Lunenburg and all of that. We'll go to, to there, we'll drop the military maintenance and we gained the, uh, well, Apparently we are to going to war against the Huns. Show superiority, call willing allies. Austria will not join, but Melkenburg, Saxony and Poland will, so that would be uh, good enough for us, I think. Uh, they do have uh, 7 troops, well, 10, 10, 13 troops. Okay, this could be tricky, and they have more there. So we'll get here and there. We'll lower the speed a bit, 
and we'll go and we'll see how it goes hmm so we are now making five only five per month uh, we'll go there they'll stop and move here hopefully we are at work these guys well yep we are okay why would Austria not join they are a tr they have a truce with them correct nope so call to arms why not war exhaustion oh okay you work on that and we'll work on this shall we let's uh, occupy the, their capital that is good news indeed tax modifier that's always good well when it's uh, an increase and not decrease so. uh, since we are and the Anza is trying to uh, make peace with us already I will not accept we will siege through this province and hopefully we will be able to get uh, a few vessels released we will revoke their protection because I do not want to protect them and that will be it uh, we do have a bit of aggressive expansion right now but that's fine we are going to vassalize them as soon as we can let's increase the speed the Hansa will probably not be able to do anything that bad to us so we oh we lost our king let's boost stability shall we let's boost stability to zero there we go and do we have an heir no but we have a 333 which is better than what we, what we had previously so that's not so bad let's keep going they are sieging through all good and Hansa actually has quite a few uh, troops around here probably in Danzig as well we'll see how it goes zero percent Hansa is still trying to uh, make peace with us we will not accept we will abolish the tax right now uh, the siege of Lubeck we won good uh, we will try and siege Bremen right there they have quite a bit of a, a, an army here Poland and uh, Saxony so it should be fine 50% already that's good 42 and halt this is being occupied by who by Saxony oh good and this is being occupied by us so let's sue for peace I could uh, make them a vassal but well shall we make them a vassal we will pay a lot more as you can see we'll pay uh, 7 and uh, we'll get a ton of uh, aggressive expansion because we do not have the claim so we'll not do so right now we'll make them re release and halt I think no not no 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 we could vassalize them so we'll do this and this uh, trade power for me yes thank you okay we'll do this and that will be the peace deal for them there we go we lost a bit of war score but that will be a uh, that will improve pretty darn soon as soon as the sieges are over so as soon as this war is uh, this little little war uh, oh we got an air good let's see our air how it, how good it is is actually good 534 okay this one will die soon mark my words mark my words this guy will never live to to play to to be our 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 ruler or if it does, it will die in the five years. My bet, my personal bet is five years uh, until, well, if he gets to the throne, he will stay there for five years and then die. At the most. That is my bet. So we won. This guy is our vessel. Yep, good, 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 good. We are actually going to wait for these guys to make peace with these before we make peace with them hopefully they will do so pretty darn soon how much is it at zero national epic uh, sure yellow prestige sure how much uh, does it take 510 okay uh, what kind of peace deal could we could we make we could take Bremen and Lubeck I'm not going to do so no I do not want to be at odds with uh, Austria 
We could make them release three guys, that's good. And transfer trade power as well. But we'll take Bremen out of this and transfer trade power. Like this. Actually, I'm not sure if I want them to release these or not right now. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Brandenburg, okay. We finished improving relations with them. As soon as the war is over, we will make peace with them. Uh, we could actually... Uh, hang on. Could we uh, negotiate peace by Melkenburg? No. But I can uh, get these provinces and then sell them to them. Hmm. That would be interesting. If I got Lubeck, then sold it to them. Uh, then when I annex them, hmm, I probably do so. I will probably do so. What the hell? Let's try it. It's a bit gamey, but let's try it. I'm going to do this. Temples and constables on wonderful. Let's go for. Well, we need more administrative power, so we'll wait for a while. All right, so I know how our uh, peace deal will go. Hang on, can we go here? Can I ask for uh, military access? No, they won't give us to us. They are our rivals, after all. So we'll stay right here and wait for them to try and do something. Ah, what the hell, let's make peace. Uh, this is boring. Even for me, so for you guys, it should be even more. Let's not make this. I'll take this one and send it to Melkenburg. Sell it to Melkenburg. So that will be it. We'll gain. Although they will. Let's see. Let's try it. What the hell? There. 177. Oh, bummer. Let's improve relations again. There we go. And now we'll try and sell uh, the province. As soon as I can, 29th of March. So there we go. Sell province. Lubeck, they won't accept. And by zero, would you accept? No. Are part of the empire, and Austria is the emperor. So let's see if I can actually send them a gift. 15 for 20 for 20 mo 60 months. Okay, that would be enough for us to vassalize them. First of May. Okay, we'll wait. Come on, first of May. First of May. Worship. Uh, let's do this. First of May. There we go. Offer the vassalization. There we go. They are our vassals. Good. Yep, that's fine. And now, if, can I sell you that province? Please tell me I can. Lubeck. Nope. So we we'll, we will have to court it. Although I really don't care. Let's sell it to the Hansa. <laughs> what the hell, Lubeck? Do you want it? Oh, hang on. All right, for zero. Uh, it was worth it. Worth a shot. Let's let's give it back. There. I really don't care for it, so let's just give it back. Saxony probably is starting to hate us a bit. That's fine. Let's lower our... Well, we'll do this right now. Men at arms and longbow. Oh, not here. There. So we'll choose the men at arms and... And, 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 and formalize weight scales and measures. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Uh, but, yep, uh, I think this is pretty much it for now. We these guys are no longer at war, and now they are our vessels. We are paying a bit of military of diplomatic maintenance for our relations, but that will change soon enough when we get to this level right there. Uh, I am going to waste a bit uh, of diplomatic points in maintaining these two guys, but hopefully it will be good enough. Hopefully, one can hope. Let's royal marriage them, why not, uh, in the meantime. There we go. We can act, ex annex them for another seven years, so we'll wait and then we'll try to annex and when we do, we'll have cores on every province of theirs. So, thank you guys so much for watching. 
uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys hopefully in the next episode and until then take care and goodbye